Today we are working on the exterior of our home. Join us each week as we get closer to our goal of building our house from start to finish. In our last episode, we put up our roof trusses. Today the last of the framing is going up along with our shingles and we're picking out our stone and brick. So it's been a few days since the trusses went up. Right now the guys are working on some platforms that go over the trusses that they can walk on in order to put the sheet wood on our roof. They've been also working on the back patio and building the roof for that. The process took almost an entire week before the back patio and the whole roof was covered in sheet wood. And before you know it, we have a roof over our heads. So a few weeks ago, we were placing orders for our windows and we noticed this decorative window above the garage cost $800. So it looks like we're gonna get crafty and create a window ourselves to keep the cost low. Today, we are in my parents' basement where my dad will be showing us how to make window frames. Oh, said, I don't know what time I'm going to do, so if you see something you like, let me know. Oh boy. The only caveat is the framers need this ASAP, so we gotta get a move on. We picked up two barn windows at $37 a piece from Menards and bought some wood to make the frames. It's a lot better than 800 bucks. We got black caulk because we are going to paint the window black. I'm not a professional caulker, so don't judge these skills. Okay, so it's a little rough, but since it's going over the garage and we're gonna paint it black anyways, no one will even know. Okay, time to get painting then. Okay, she's all painted. Then tomorrow morning, we gotta bring this to Steve so we can put it on the house. The main peak is in, baby. <laughs> we got the front porch. That still has a little bit of um, some ways to go. We also finished that window that Lisa was painting. That's going to go right in that spot. And then we have to clean the basement today to make it nice and tidy. Hey, do you think we uh, need some light down here? <laughs> At first, when it was just the main peak up, it scared me a little bit because this thing was massive. But once we got the porch peak up, they really balanced each other out and the house came together. You guys, some board and batten is here and a beautiful window. When we first started designing our house, we took a really long time to make sure that we got that mountain home feel just right. And you're finally seeing it come together with all the wood, the shingle shakers, and the board and batten. The mountain home in flat Michigan. And then we ran into a little mishap with the paint. <laughs> all right, today the painters are here to paint the trim. We decided to go with iron ore, which is pretty much black. Got here a little after they started painting. Didn't realize that board and batten is considered trim. So now we have iron ore board and batten. But in the end, we're so happy that they did paint the board and batten black because we just really loved the look. Well, the weather was pretty bad, so they had to stop the paint. They'll continue it when the weather clears up. Okay, so now we have to drill in the back patio columns before the roof comes down. Behind we have two metal steel poles that are holding up this covered loja, this covered deck here. We gotta fasten them in because structurally, if this were to fall out, then this whole portion would come falling down. So we have the drill, the bits, and the fasteners. We're gonna have to drill through the steel and then fasten them into the concrete. I was having a hell of a time trying to drill into this concrete. It's very important that you have the right tools and make sure you do it the right way or else you're gonna be there forever. All right, Ferris, what's the consensus? We need to come back. <laughs> I need the hard tip. <laughs> okay, now that we got the right tools, it's time to give this another shot. Picked up these nice new drill bits from Home Depot. Yesterday it was taking like two hours. With these drill bits, it should only take like 20 minutes to finish this thing. You gotta go slow. <laughs> yeah, instantly that one started going through immediately. So sometimes you just need to suck it up and buy new bits, <laughs> buy new tools. Can't always skimp on everything. One, two, three. 
Good job, Ferris. All right. Only two hours later. <laughs> Five hours late. <laughs> so you're telling me that that, these little guys, are what holds up this entire thing? Are you kidding me? Well, now that the roof to our patio has been secured, we cannot wait to sit out here and enjoy this space. Okay, so now it's the fun part. We get to go shopping for our stone and brick. <laughs> Less is more. We love shopping. In order to understand how much stone we need, we first had to measure the area of the house where the stone will be going. For the stone, we're gonna be going with a veneer. There's natural stone veneer and there's manufactured veneer. For us, we're gonna go with the manufactured veneer because it's cost effective and it's easier to adhere, which also will be saving us cost because we're gonna be doing this work. And we need all the help we can get. We're going shopping right now. We got a few ideas. We wanna go with something gray-ish. Ish. I kinda like, there's some color in here, but I don't know if I like the brown. I like that it's white, but it still has some, it has a little bit more color in it. We got our stone samples. So on my left here, we have a more white slash gray sample. And then we have some more color with this one. We're gonna hold them up next to the board and batten to see which one we like the most. All right, you can't really go wrong. This is definitely more of the black and white kind of look. Sample number two. This one has a bit more color in it. I think that looks really nice. So after some discussion, we decided that neither one was it. We have a ton of stone going on the front of our house. We have to be 100% sure that that's the right fit. So we're off to another masonry shop. We're comparing two different stone samples, the Casa di Sassi. They are a whiter tone, but we're liking them a lot. We love the shape and the texture of the Casi stone. Ferris is pretty much set on it. But I still wanna introduce a little bit more color. So we're gonna check out some other ones from Dutch Quality in the Winter Point collection. So we got the two other stone samples that we picked up from the store. So this will be going on the exterior of our house or the elevation, but it'll also be going on our fireplace. So still trying to decide which look we like better. In the end, we went with the Cassie white stone. We love how big the individual pieces are. It's called Old World, which is the exact style we're going for. And at 790 a square foot and our labor, I'll call that a deal. So now that we have our stone picked out, we need to pick out our brick. When you go to these masonry shops, they give you addresses of recently built homes that use the brick that you're looking for. So let's hop in the car, go on a little ride and check these out. Hey, okay. yeah, I like this one. Their stone is like light, like ours is gonna be. This feels really stalkerish. I like that, I like that better than that. Okay. So what, Ferris? <laughs> All right, this is way too many decisions for one day, but we chose a brick. We're going with a lighter gray brick called Gray Stone from Brampton, and that will complement the stone and the remainder of the house. I think it looks good. You like that? Okay, it's time to get back because the shingles are finally going on the roof of the house. <laughs> We're putting shingles on our house today. The shingles, as you can see behind me, they've been laid out everywhere they need to go and the guys just arrived, so they're gonna be putting on the shingles probably all day today, all day tomorrow. There's only two guys putting shingles up on a roof, so it's gonna take about a week, which is not bad, honestly. That's some good work. You can see these wood boards that they've nailed to the roof. That's kind of how they climb up the roof to nail in the shingles. Seems a little dangerous for my liking. Luckily, the guys got some decent weather and they were able to move quickly. They started on the left side of the house and moved their way right. They'll have to come back another day to finish the small sections of metal roof over our front windows. One week later, we finally have our roof. I'm really enjoying the way that our elevation is coming together on our home. It looks really nice. Our Michigan mountain home. After this week's activities and the framing just finishing up, we are 351,000 into this project. Our next video is gonna be a big one with the brick and windows coming in. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. You know that's what? the most scared I've been in a very long time. I, th I thought the foundations was maybe the scariest job, but this might be the scariest job. 
Oh, this is way by far scarier. 